Anytime we build a revolved or rotated geometry, we need an axis of rotation. We can create axes by using intersecting planes, lines, or points. Axes are also very useful when building assemblies. To start off to build our first axis, go up to Features on the ribbon bar, come down to Reference Geometry, click on the drop-down arrow, and choose Axis. From there, we're going to go through and choose a few different ones of these. The first one's going to be a, an axis along one line or edge or an axis. So in this case here, just go ahead and choose one of these lines. And this one here, I have a line right here. It's just going to drop an axis there. And that works just fine around that corner. The next one is new axis. This one here is going to be between two planes. Now notice I have a front plane and a right plane. Let's go ahead and choose both of those. It has an axis at the intersection of the two planes. Click OK. There it is. Go back again. Axis. This time I'm going to use two points. I'm going to choose this point here, and I'm going to choose this point here. And again, it drops an axis between those two points, and it makes it pretty easy to work with. Click OK. And notice, as I'm creating these axes, they're all labeled one after another, axis one, two, three, etc. Also come up here, axis, this time on a cylindrical face. Choose the outside of this face here. It drops the axis right in the center of that. Looks great. And then we'll do the very last one here. Go to axes. Point on a face or plane, choose that one, choose this plane here, choose this point here, and it actually makes a little axis sticking out of that plane at that point. Click OK, and we're done. Now, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here, and we're going to use one of these axes to actually demonstrate why we'd need them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Linear Pattern, click on the drop down, choose Circular Pattern, and for my patterning, my axes that I need to use, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one in the center, which is axis 2. And instead of features to pattern, I'm going to come down here to bodies to pattern. And I'm going to choose this little cylinder here. And notice it patterns it around here. And I can increase the amount of cylinders I want. I can put a bunch of them all the way around here if I wanted to. Or decrease the number, doesn't matter. And we'll be getting into that more on the patterning movie. But for now, I just wanted to illustrate how the axes are used to create a pattern. Click OK. There's our pattern. And looking good. The ability to create axes allows us to define the center line of rotated features and aids in the assembling of parts. Leverage axes to define the center of your design and to help with complex revolved geometry.